And now, CBS 4 Sports. Well, the preseason continues for the Dolphins tomorrow night right here on CBS 4 as they host the Eagles in their final warm-up game before the regular season kicks off in two weeks against the Patriots. Despite not holding practice yesterday due to a stomach bug that has been spreading throughout the locker room, the Dolphins are eager to get back out to business at Hard Rock Stadium tomorrow against one of their rivals from the NFC. Now expect to see all three quarterbacks get some reps tomorrow under center and head coach Mike McDaniel plans to use this game to get one step closer to their season opener at home against the Patriots. And if you're trying to be a winning team, one of the things all the players have to be able to do is continue to get better. So it's it's a really fun process that is that, that you're exhausting where you get to see this this final product of play um, after all of these different coaching points. The Marlins host the Dodgers on the diamond this evening. Miami looking to prevent a two game losing streak. Game time in a few minutes at 640 p.m. We'll have highlights at 11 right here on CBS 4 News. And a new pro sport league is coming to Miami to join the others. The pro Padel League announced that they will begin professional competition in Miami beginning during the spring 2023 season. Padel originated in Mexico and has been growing throughout the United States with Miami as one of its largest hotbeds. The Pro Padel League plans to have six pro teams hailing from the United States and Canada. As for some tennis, the U.S. Open main draw begins on Monday in New York as the top players in the world will battle for the chance to capture a coveted Grand Slam trophy. I had the opportunity to be in New York last night to MC with three of the top seeds at the U.S. Open as world number four, Carlos Alcaraz, number eight, Felix Auger, Ali Asim. They were joined by the woman's finalist from last year, Layla Fernandez from Canada, to unveil their newest Babolat Pure Arrow racket and also give a free lesson to children at Court 16 Club in Long Island City. Now, I had a chance to catch up with Alcaraz, who also won this year's Miami Open, and he was grateful to help the kids before the big event. I mean, it's, uh, it's amazing to, to know that the young star, you know, I, yeah, to, to be able to play with, with, with them. And, yeah, I mean, it's an experience, as you, as you said. I mean, I, I saw a, a lot of uh, young star here playing great, so uh, I wish uh, them all the best. Great to catch up with the Miami Open champion. That's it for sports. I'm Harry Chickma. We'll be right back.